the first time I heard about it was when Miss O'Connell came to my class during seventh period and told us about the short story machine. Because she had come in to tell us about it and I got really excited because I love to write. It's one of my favorite things to do. I was picturing something more like a, like a vending machine, sort of, except that I would have like stories in it, but I didn't really know what to think because I've never seen anything like it. The short story machine is a machine located in the library. Once you enter, it's right to the uh, right of you. It was introduced in France for people at train stops to get a little story while they read. And so now it's here at Glencrest Middle School, and a ton of students have been able to submit their stories and get them picked with, I think, 100, 500, and then 1,000 word little stories. There's three buttons, and you wave your hand over which button what you want, and then the story comes and prints out for you at that size. I got mostly fiction, like most of them made up, but one of my friends wrote a story, and it was then I was a character in it too, and it was an event that we actually did. So I've mostly gotten like fiction, but I've gotten one non-fiction. The story is called The Doll Store. It's about a girl who, uh, her grandma owns a doll shop, and she's wondering, where does my grandma get these dolls? Mary has always wondered how her grandmother had so many dolls in her shop. She had owned the shop for years, and every few weeks there would be a new doll. She never once saw her grandma making the dolls, only repairing them when they broke or paint chipped. I th sat there thinking long, yeah, just in my room trying to go to sleep, and it just kept me up at night, so I had to do it. In the land of Hyrule, danger lurked in every corner. Link had saved the kingdom many times before. But now a new threat has risen. A green seal with a wicked look in his eyes was gathering an army of creatures to take over the entire land. I am in Girl Scouts, and over the summer we went cabin camping, and there we did like a badge about writing. And so I wrote a story about a detective. And stay out. I am Lacey O'Shea, and my curiosity has peaked. I walk over to the woman who just huffed out of the clothing store. Excuse me, hi, I'm Lacey. Are you all right, I ask the angry woman. Hi, I'm Maria and I'm all right, she says, her mood lightning. What happened, I ask, try not to be nosy, but still digging a little bit deeper. Well, do you see that gown in the window, she replies. I do, I say back. That was my design. But why does it say it was made by Laura Roche? My design was stolen, the woman says. My ears perk up. I'm a detective and I'll take your case. Tell me everything. Well, I wrote this story with my friend back in second grade, and we never finished it, so I thought it'd be a good idea to like remix it and finish it. It all started on a Tuesday morning. A student named Chris just woke up after having the weirdest dream of his life. Tacos, really? Chris thought to himself, weirded out. Chris rolled over on his bed, only to see that the clock read 7.27 a.m. Oh shoot, Chris yelled, I gotta go! Chris forgot all about the dream and rushed to the bathroom and quickly brushed his teeth. Come check it out in the library. I think you'll have such a great time reading the different stories. Actually today, my friend um, Elena, she was like, B, I got your story and I really liked it. I was like, oh my gosh, you did? And it was so cool to see someone get my story.